Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Easy. I'm not gonna go into an intro like I normally do, and yeah, let's talk about it. So, I have buyer's remorse, and it's not the reason why you may think why I have buyer's remorse for my 4070 Super OC Asus Tough. It's not that reason why I have buyer's remorse. I'm going to explain to you the reason why I have buyer's remorse, okay? Am I happy with the graphics card I got? Yeah. Is it the card I really wanted? No. Um, what card did I really want? I wanted the Asus um, ROG uh, Strength. 4070 Super. That's the card I really wanted. But um one, I didn't feel like waiting for it. Two, I couldn't pick it up at Best Buy. Three, I didn't feel like waiting for a refund coming back from Best Buy, then go to New Egg, then purchase it, then had to wait a couple of days to get a new GPU. I didn't feel like going through it, so I got the tough, right? But that's not the reason. Um, am I happy with the car? Yes. Um, the reason why I wanted the Strift is because that's a car I really, really wanted. Um, I was going to either settle for the 4070 um, OC version or the 4070 Ti version or the 4070 Super OC edition. Those are the ones I was looking at. I'm still going to get a Strift. I'm just going to buy the 4060. Um, what is it? The 4060 Ti. No, no, no. The 4060 Super Ti OC. And I I think they got one with 16 gigabytes. I'm not completely sure. Um, I can grab that for like four about four hundred dollars, four or five hundred dollars. I could buy that next week if I want to. But I'm gonna wait. Uh, as much as I want it, I'm not gonna get it. And I'm gonna tell you the reason why. Um and the main reason why I have buyer's remorse is because there's no games out nowhere, not for PC, not on PlayStation, not on Xbox. Um, like I said, PC is it's just boring right now. Like I brought I literally brought this card to future proof when I'm doing. Don't get me wrong. I love this card. I just wish it had more RGBs. I just wish more things when it light up. I do have a workaround for the RGBs that I wanted, but the kind of the downside was I wanted the Streff to have the um logos light up, then a on the on side light up. Then I was gonna buy a uh, custom RGB on um, ARGB on um, backplate to put on the Streff. I'm gonna just do that on here. Um, I'm just gonna add some couple more things or whatever like that on it, just so I can like the card the way I want. But the main like I said, the main reason why I have buyer's remorse is because there's no games out. It's nothing. It's dry all around. Like I'm literally playing my backlog my backlog of um games. And I didn't buy the 4070 I didn't buy the Aces um tough 4070 Super OC to play old games. I brought it to basically play new games. Like I brought, I literally brought these cards so I could play Call of Duty for Hell Divers um, 2, things like that. Um, I got the cards. I'm enjoying it, but as I'm playing the games, I'm just getting more and more depressed with it because I'm like, damn, I'm just spending all this money on equipment for YouTube. YouTube is not the way how it is. It's like I'm real depressed with it because ever since I got hacked, I got I got subscribers, but my viewership, like for my live streams, has dipped. I literally pushed myself away from getting away from kids um, streaming, like for the kids and stuff like that, like basically Fortnite. I had a lot of kids on my channel that was actually watching the videos and stuff. It's just I didn't want to deal with like doing content for children and stuff like that. Um, I try to do more like adult stuff, like doing the streams for like the big guys, the big kids and stuff like that. 
people of my age or, you know, in a twenties and things like that. Not mostly like 10, 15 year olds and stuff like that, but it's just dry. There's nothing out here in these streets, these gaming streets. Everything is just so damn dry. There's nothing to do. There's nothing to play. Just back backlog of, I keep saying backlog, <laughs> backlog of old games, Resident Evil, um, Titanfall, freaking um, Batman, and Call of Duty, and Battlefield, just, everything's just boring, I just want a new game, something de decent, like Helldivers is out, yeah, I'm having fun with that and stuff like that, that's boring, I'm playing Dead Island 2 right now on um, Game Pass on the Xbox, I can't stand freaking Game Pass, like, I'm literally trying to get through playing Dead Island 2 on the Xbox Series S because that shit is like, what, 30 frames per second? And I'm not having no type of fun on the damn thing. Like, I just get irritated playing it. And it's just like PlayStation, Helldivers. I might get, um, what is it, um, something of Roni. I, I don't even know. I ain't keep up with a lot of the games, to be honest. I still haven't finished um, Ghost of Tsushima. Like, I get these games, I play, like, a few minutes of it, I lose interest of it real quick. Like, my interest of games is, like, out the window. I like, basically, horror games. I literally can't wait for Silent Hill Remake to come out. That's what I'm really waiting for. I don't care how the graphics look. If y'all don't know, Silent Hill literally saved my life. When I was going through my depression stage, when I was living back in New York, back in the Bronx... I went through a whole issue with a whole thing of depression and like the game that literally like every time the sun was setting, Dragon Ball Z would come on and I was like start getting depressed and stuff like that. And I went through like the whole suicide thing and my mind wasn't right. Silent Hill 2 literally saved my life. Like I played that game every freaking day. It was that, and I forgot what the other game was. It was for the PlayStation 2. It was a motocross game. I think it was, I don't remember what the motocross game was, but I played Silent Hill 2 and that motocross games. And those were the two games I played every day until I actually got out of my depression. Like, y'all yeah, don't understand. It's like, I'm very picky when it comes to us with games. Um... I'm mostly into first person action games, um, adventure games, things like that. So yeah, these streets has been dry. It's nothing really out there, even on VR. It's dry in VR, it's dry in PC, it's dry in Xbox, it's dry on PlayStation. Well, not really on PlayStation. It's just the games that's coming out, it's not games that I play personally. And another issue that I'm having is that I buy a lot, like I have not brought things for myself. Um, even when it comes towards the RG ally, I came to this things like, okay, I'm gonna buy this for myself so I can game on a go. Nope. To be honest with you, I, that's what my mindset was in that. My mindset was to be able to play Fortnite, to upload the videos while I'm going to go and for the item shop. And it just, to the point, I just stopped doing item shop on um, videos because it was stressful. Um, I don't have nothing that I, I got for myself. The graphics card is basically for YouTube. I thought it was going to be for me. It ain't really nothing. And then the money that I'm going to get next week is going to go towards YouTube again. It's like I literally don't have nothing for myself. I never buy nothing for myself. Everything I think of is always going towards YouTube and equip equipment. Um, yeah, it's just all YouTube stuff. Like once you start doing YouTube, it's like nothing satisfy you it's like you got to keep upgrading and upgrading and upgrading and upgrading and it's the endless cycle that never stops you just keep going and going and going so yeah um i don't know i don't know i'm most likely gonna buy a new keyboard probably buy a new computer desk probably buy a new setup to try to do live streams it's like i don't even need i don't even want to do live streams no more i'm buying all this equipment to do live streams and I just brought a new capture card, and it's like to the point I don't even want to do live streams no more, to be honest. Because there's nothing out here to do. It's boring. I don't know. I mean, it's probably the, the worst thing I could say that I got bias remorse, but it's just boring. I don't know. I'm depressed with all this gaming crap because Call of Duty is stressing every everybody out.
The only game seem like I'm enjoying is Hell Divers, but I don't want to play that 24 hours, seven days a week. Um, there's other stuff I want to play. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna catch you guys later. It's ten minutes of me rambling and venting and stuff like that, and I'm gonna catch you guys later. Alright. Uh, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, become part of the DYEZ gang gang. Make sure you smash that like button, and I'm gonna catch you. Smash the like button, and also make sure you smashing the like buttons. I don't know which one is gonna actually work. Hopefully, one of them I said works. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna catch you guys later. Peace.